एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एम एल एच फेलोशिप सो दिस इज अक इंटर्नशिप अल्टरनेटिव प्रोग्राम एंड एवरी वन कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर ग्रेटर देन सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज सो दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री पार्ट फर्स्ट इज द एक्सटर्नशिप देन ओपन सोर्स एंड द एक्सप्लोर प्रोग्राम इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन ओपन सोर्स यू कैन स्टार्ट योर जर्नी विद द ओपन सोर्स ट्रैक If you are interested in new technologies you can start your journey and learn about those technologies with the explorer track and if you are interested in real life experience and internships then you can go with the externship track so this program is for everyone and it is free of cost it is a 12 week long program and today in this video we have ravisha with us she is my mate and she is a mlh fellow and she is an explorer track and she is going to tell us more about this program so if you are interested don't forget to watch this video completely and let's go kyunki jinhone exactly jinhone dekhi nahi unhe pata nahi let me see ki tumhari tumhari sabse honest loyal audience kaun hai let me see let us see bhai please comment kar dena yaar bhai jaldi mat kara do hello everyone and today we have ravisha with me and Ravisha, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure, uh, Kushbu. Thank you for having me. So I am a second-year computer science and engineering student uh, in at PCE Patna, and uh, I am a WTM Google Scholar, just like Kushbu. And now <laughs> I am an MLH Fellow as well. Yes, that's great. So, Ravisha, like, what is exactly MLH Fellowship? okay so mlh fellowship you can say is like uh, an internship uh, alternative but at the same time it's not exactly internship because there are like three separate programs under mlh uh, mm-hmm. one is the explorer program the second is the open source program and the third is uh, the externship program so yeah. uh, explorer is you can say like an educational fellowship it's not really an internship uh, open source you can say uh, something you know between uh fellowship and uh, internship the so externship is i guess you can call that a proper internship because uh, you get to work with the government partners and the, the companies that are partnered with mlh and you get to work on real world software projects okay that's great so like uh, how one can be a part of this program like how to apply okay so uh, you have to apply through the site of mlh and you have to go through a little lengthy application form to apply for it you have to choose which cohort you want to apply to like there is spring cohort there is a uh, summer cohort and there is fall cohort so you choose which cohort you want to apply to and you go ahead and apply to it um so uh, there would be questions like uh, why do you want to become an mlh fellow Uh, what is your like motivation behind it and you know your passion towards technology what excites you about technology etc there would also be a section where you have to submit a code sample which would be kind of a project sample and uh, yeah that's how the application goes if your application gets shortlisted then you have to go through two rounds of interviews so the first interview would be like a general talking interview in which uh, you'll have to talk about your interests and like similar questions like what what is your motivation for you know what is your interest in becoming the mlh fellow and uh, they they may ask you about uh, you know any interesting projects that you have done what you aspire to become eventually you know stuff like that and then in the other round of interview um you'll be talking about the code sample that you have submitted in the uh, application so yeah So Ravisha, like as you said, this is a twelve-week long program. So, like, what are the perks and benefits of being in this program, being part of MLH uh, fellowship? So, if you are a part of Explorer Track, then you'll get to uh, work in teams and you'll get to learn a lot of you know new technologies that you might not have tried uh, as yet, and also mm, you will have some good projects for your. will be building your own portfolio with the explorer track okay so if you're a part of open source then um, you'll con- you'll be contributing to some major um, github repo 
uh, which is you know used by uh, many companies around the world so obviously that's uh, that's something major that you can add to your resume um if you are a part of externship then definitely it's a proper internship because you get to work with uh, you know real world software companies and uh, also government partners as a things uh, like in in basic what you do in these programs so um, the perks are first of all that you learn so much mm-hmm. and you get to work in teams you get to have that real feel of you know uh, how software companies work how you get to work in teams how you collaborate in teams how you communicate you know how you learn to you know put forward your ideas how you learn to uh, manage conflicts maybe if someone has another opinion then how do you collaborate with different opinions so you'll get to learn a lot of things plus um, you'll make some really good connections because everyone is from varied parts of the world not even our country so you'll get to have some real you know some real solid connections so obviously connections are anyways helpful in your career so yeah connections experience learning okay sounds so interesting so ravisha like mm-hmm. uh, what is the eligibility for the program and like are there any prerequisites for the same um eligibility i think is you should be a student but it's not uh, limited to students even the professionals can join but i guess uh, the the seats or the slots for professionals is limited it's mostly open to the students for, from any university of the world and uh, the prerequisites can be you should know basic programming and you should know some you know basic technologies uh, you should actually uh, you know have idea about um, technology to some extent it's not necessary that you should be you know great at it or anything but uh, prerequisites can be that you should have some basic coding knowledge you should have some uh, you know even if you have a, like a minor project then you should be well versed with that project so yeah i will say that uh, that would be the prerequisite okay so would you recommend this program to any first year student um for a first year student yeah if if you think that you have some basic knowledge and you can uh, be a part of a community where uh, you get to work in teams on various technologies then yeah i would recommend this thing is very subjective to that person if uh-huh. that person thinks Definitely. that yeah i have some basic knowledge i can cope up then mm-hmm. yeah they can go ahead and apply for it yeah yeah okay okay definitely so like okay so what are the things like they will ask in an application like uh, if i'm very beginner like i'm just uh, i just know coding like a, a single language or two and i have just mini projects do you think uh, do you think like i have a chance to get selected um yeah i'll say that you do have a chance to get selected because uh, i did not grand major project in the application my application was you know crisp and honest okay so that's great and like we have talked about how we can apply we have talked about uh, who people are eligible or not and we have talked about like uh, ki, uh, what is this program all about but if we got selected what are your tips for the interviews like the interview is the most scariest part in everything <laughs> yeah so um uh, my interviews were uh, really you know very cool i'll say because the first interview like both my interviews uh, were uh, like my interviewers were students themselves they were final year students so they were very you know o- open with me and they were very amicable so like the first interview as i said i think i mentioned it earlier that um it was very um, you know it was just about your interests and why you want to become an mlh fellow and stuff whatever you have written in your application you can talk about that in you know different terms maybe and uh, you can be you can be you know confident you can you can show that you can communicate right if you if you have something in your head you can you can you can talk about it so that is what that is what it, uh, you have in the first interview and you don't have to worry about the interview because you know the interviewers are really amicable and friendly and they have been through the same journey so you don't need to worry much about it uh, you'll have butterflies in your stomach definitely because i do too <laughs> but you don't need to worry about it definitely and the uh, second interview was uh, a technical interview as i said 
so uh, we had to talk about uh, the code sample that we submitted and we had to go through the uh, github repository and uh, you know you had to go through the code structure properly like um, okay this is this file i got the input from here i got the data from here so i'm using it in this uh, particular code why did i write this code um, initially this code was like this but how i made it like this and now how it's you know more readable and more uh, you know refactored into smaller functions etc you can talk about it like how you built the project what did you learn from it and uh, uh, you can say you can you can talk about uh, the libraries that you used you can talk about the technical details as well you have to be well versed with your project just don't you know submit a project for submitting sake uh, do it because you love doing it do because um, you love talking about it you're interested in that technology so don't you don't have to worry about the interview if you are honest with your application that is what i want to say okay that's great okay so i think like uh, the information now we have like all the people who are viewing this can easily like now apply without any doubt to this program so uh, definitely <laughs> as we always say like you should not think you should not judge yourself before applying because for yeah. judging yourself you like there are judges there yeah, so you don't do the dirt to do the work of judging yeah yeah so i yeah. guess everyone should apply to this program and just leave it to them they want to take you or not <laughs> <laughs> no but we always should be optimistic about your like ourselves and we should be yeah. you know we should have confidence that you know we have done what we have done and that's it okay that's great thanks a lot for like yeah. giving us the all brief about this program and if uh, any one of you have yeah. any doubts and you want to get your application maybe reviewed so you can just ping ravisha and she can help you with that sure i will put her linkedin profile in the description and yeah. definitely go and ping her definitely <laughs> definitely and yeah kushbu thanks for having me thanks for giving me this lovely <laughs> lovely introduction and lovely presence <laughs> lovely guest appearance and whatever you want to call it thank you kushbu so thanks a lot for coming here and telling everyone about this program now i'm sure like yeah. um can i say 50% of my audience is going to like apply for the program <laughs> if you are applying for the program please go in the comment more section and tell me more than 50% more than 50% comment yeah, below if you are applying should apply definitely and let's see yeah goes to the comments ratio and you do do subscribe to kushbu's channel <laughs> do subscribe so views to the comment ratio will tell ki kitne logon ne video yahan tak yeah. dekhi <laughs> kyunki jinhone ne exactly jinhone dekhi nahi unhe pata nahi let me see ki tumhari tumhari sabse honest loyal audience kaun hai let me see <laughs> let us see bhai please comment yeah. kar dena yaar bhai jaldi mat kara do <laughs> yeah <laughs> chalo oh, okay so oh thanks God. a lot and yeah yeah shoot ho gayi because uh, <laughs> like aap logo ko nahi pata wo sab edit ho jata hai but kitni huh. dikkatein aayi hain aaj kitni sari ha huh. finally oh god aaj bahut hi zyada unreal problems hue mere internet ke sath i don't know ye kaise hua kab hua kyun hua <laughs> also go check out <laughs> ravishas um music channel youtube channel have, yeah, yeah ravishas youtube channel she sings beautifully like ravisha you want to sing something right now no <laughs> okay um what should i say have i uploaded something that is singable right now uh, um maybe love story thank you <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> go check out her <laughs> youtube channel and subscribe to the same and you will be able to yeah, listen to this check music out my, songs uh, you can you can you can check out my medium account as well i do write articles yeah i will uh, the link is in the description <laughs> go check out and yeah <laughs>
and we will see you all next time bye bye yeah bye bye oh done